So I just did a test on the Deus and Equinox on all these targets here, comparing the, the signals at four kilohertz with, this, with the uh, six inch and the nine inch on the Deus and Equinox. Silver quarter, Morgan dollar, a big brass valve, a brass lock there, and some, uh, some bottle caps. This one's really toasted, it's just gone. This is another flat one, it's really uh, rusty. And then a couple modern bottle caps here, right? And I just got some very interesting results from this, this test right here. What I wanna do is I wanna get, um, I wanna put um, these, these detectors in the highest frequency possible. This X35 coil is a five frequency coil, right? There's four, seven, 11, 17, and 25. And then you have seven offsets to each one of those frequencies. The Equinox, you have four, five, 10, 15, 20, and 40 kilohertz, and then multi-frequency. And with the, with the HF coils, you only, you only have three frequencies, right, to, to choose from. And the frequencies on the HF coils are a lot broader than, than the Equinox and, and the, uh, this coil here, right? You have 14 kilohertz to 54 kilohertz on the nine inch round and then 14 kilohertz to 74 kilohertz on the, the elliptical HF coils. But you only have three frequencies to choose from, right? Then you have the seven offsets also. But the Deus does not run in multi-frequency. And I'll show you something very interesting I just found out. I'll just run it in, um, in the highest frequency possible here, right? Start out in 25 kilohertz, right? Stock hot program here. Let them coil engage here. So when I turn the machine on, it it puts me in seven, with this coil here, with the X35 coils in this program, the stock hot, hot program puts you in 17.2 kilohertz. And I think it performs really good. I think it performs the best um, in 17 kilohertz. Um, the lower frequencies, I usually tend to get a lot of EMI. So I'll just go up to the highest frequency here, 25.4 kilohertz. There's a silver quarter here. Nice and clean tone there, right? That's that big brass valve. You can tell it's something really big. It's an overload, right? Look at that. I haven't done a test with the HF coils, but I think the HF coils are not gonna perform very well on this target right here this large piece of brass, but I will do a test on it here very soon. Here's the bottle cap in 25 kilohertz. Bottle cap, right? There's another bottle cap. This is the difference between it. Silver quarter, right there. Sounds really grunty, right? Hear the clicking? So the older bottle caps are a little bit harder to, to really identify in the higher frequency on this coil here, right? It's still clicking though, right? Clicking. And I do get a lot of EMI here. I'm at 90 gain, so I'll just crank it up here, right? Crank it up all the way. And one, one thing that uh, the Deus has a little bit of advantage is you, you, can, you can put more power to the coil by raising your TX power up and dropping your sensitivity, your gain down. So, you know, it's the, the TX gain or the TX boost or TX power is not gonna be affected by EMI because it's only putting power to your coil. It's not receiving power, right? It's not the uh, RX power, it's the TX power. And some of my machines in the past that I've used have both of those settings you have tx power and rx power or rx gain we call them rx gains but what i'll do is i'll crank it all the way up right? crank it all the way up 99 gain i can deal with that emi right I normally wouldn't run it like this at high gain like that. 
but I can I can offset that EMI by dropping my gain down pretty low like in the 70s and then raising my TX power up to three but I'll show you what happens with the Equinox on these same targets in multi frequency and at 40 kilohertz frequency right Ooh. park two multi-frequency first and I'll actually turn my gain up here turn my volume up here turn my gain up it's at 11 right now right, right. seems to be doing pretty good I'm gonna turn my gain down here. I gotta turn my gain down. 14. Multi-frequency, right? Really jumpy tone there. Right. The silver's coming out good. <clears throat> Multi-frequency is struggling on that brass lock right there. I'm sure there's some iron in there too. Here's a bottle cap. One. Right? Solid one. Three. Eleven. Fifteen. Eleven. One. Really jumpy tone there. It's a multi-frequency park too, right? Now, now I'll go over to um, I'll go over to 40 kilohertz. Watch this. It's hitting that pretty good. Here going wah 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 wah. It's actually a little bit of an overload. 40 kilohertz is just banging that thing out big time, man. Nice and clean. And I can tell that it's big too. Look at that. I'll turn the iron on. It's kind of odd with that target right there. I don't know why it's doing that. 40 kilohertz with that bottle cap. With the iron off. 10, 11, 14, 17, 14, Now I'll go to park one. Here. Park one really likes silver coins because it favors the lower frequencies, right? Remember how Park 2 was in multi-frequency was really kind of struggling on this target here. Park 1 is hitting it because it's favoring the lower frequencies. The, uh, the lower frequencies was hitting this lock pretty good on the dais and the Equinox, if I can remember right. But it's really jumpy there. Now look at that. It's back down to the low numbers, right? In Park 1 because it's favoring the lower frequencies. 11, solid 11, look at that. 15. 20. And all those bottle caps are at different stages of de decomposition, right? I just wanted to put a little bit different um, grades of bottle caps in there just to show you. Bottle caps can read up anything, man. So can gold rings, so can silver rings. You know, that's why I pretty much dig most of it out anyway. But... That was a pretty interesting test, I would say. I'm I'm really curious what my HF coil does on that lock there, you know, in the higher frequencies. Probably reject it. I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna test it out here in a couple minutes. I'm really curious. I just 
I've been waiting for my Deus 2 to come in, so I haven't really been able to detect much um, the last couple days. And I'll, I'll probably do this next, for a couple, two more days, and then um, I just don't, I'm, I'm waiting for my Deus 2 to come in, in the mail, so I don't wanna have it left on my doorstep here. So I wanna get it right when it comes in. So I've been just kinda hanging outside for the last couple days. You know, because it's going to be here really soon. So, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.